All right. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Tech for Non-Techies. What I want to talk about in this video is a question that I got in the class that I was teaching last night. Um, and it is, if you are using mail um, or Gmail or uh, in this specific instance, we're going to cover if you're using the client mail on your computer. And I'm going to let you know how you can figure out if that's what you're using. Um, but I'm going to show you how you can take that email save it to your computer and then put it into a folder so that you have access to it. So if you don't want to have to go through all your emails and you just want to be able to find an email really quick, you can do that. So let's go ahead and get started. Click that subscribe button if you want to know when new content comes out. Also, please feel free to always reach out. Let me know if you've got any questions. My email is in the description, um, but you can always reach out and ask questions and I'll let you know whether that's something we might want to jump on a call on call for, which I'm happy to do. Um, I do have rates for that, uh, or I'll make a YouTube video like this for you. All right, so let's get started. So first thing that you want to do is open up your email. Now, uh, here's my cruddy email. Hopefully you ignore my emails, uh, but here is one of my emails that we're just going to take and use this one. Uh, actually, let's use this one because it's smaller. Um, okay, so this is me in my email. Uh, if you click on your email and you come up here to the top left and you see that it says next to that little apple up here on the top left, it says mail. If yours says mail, then you are in the mail client. That is what we are using right now. If you're using Chrome or Safari, I'm going to make another video for that, but it's a similar concept. So if you are in mail, fantastic. Let's go ahead and keep going. Uh, so my email is right here. Awesome. We're ready to go. Uh, then what you can do is instead of keeping the email, just your view might be different, by the way. Uh, what I'm going to have you do is go on to whatever email you want to save and you are going to double click. So click really fast, click, click, and it will open up. Then once you have your email, you will likely see if we go to the top here, you'll see this little red button, this yellow, this green, and we keep going over to the right, to the right, to the right. There's this little thing that kind of looks like a briefcase or a fax machine or a printer or something. We're going to go ahead and click that. Now, what it's saying is, do you want to print it? Well, we are not going to print it. What we are going to do is save it. So if you come down here to the bottom, you'll see this little thing that says PDF. I'm going to click that little blue button. And then I'm going to click Save as PDF. So now that I open that, it's going to give me an option. What do you want to call it and where do you want to save it? So Save as, this little highlighted thing right here, I'm just going to go ahead and change the name to Street Parking Email. Cool. So name it whatever you want. Then before you click Save, I want you to look down here at the where. Now this where is going to tell you where it is saving to. Uh, it is by default going to my documents folder. If you don't put things there, change that. So go ahead and click on that and you'll see some options. Uh, for me, what I would do is uh, if you come down here, you'll see I have something called desktop. Uh, but if you don't have that option, you can click this little arrow right here and it will bring up a different view. Um, and you'll see now it says documents. If I just keep it on documents, no worries. Over here on the left, I also have desktop. Um, and I can click on it that way, uh, or um, you can navigate to it. So you can find your user, you can click on your name for your username, and then you can click desktop. Totally up to you. You can save it wherever you want. You can save it to your downloads folder, up to you. I talk in my class how to get to the downloads folder and things like that, but for right now, for the purpose of this, just save it wherever you want. I'm gonna save it to the desktop for ease of this. Now I'm gonna click save. Cool. So that email is still in my email. If I close it, you'll see it's still in my email. Nothing special happened. Now I'm going to close out my email and you're going to see over here, if I move me out of the way on the right, I've got all of my info that's on my desktop. This right here with this wonderful screen and the ocean and the mountain, this is my desktop screen or the finder. If I click on this and on the top, top left, you see it says finder. I am now on my desktop in my finder. Over here on the right, you will see it says street parking email. Huh, that's my email, fantastic. So now you can take that email and do whatever you want. Uh, so in the class that I did last night, um, I'll give a little example. 
if you click on your mountain on your background wherever it is and you right click and if you don't have right clicking set up feel free to reach out i'm happy to help you figure that out uh, but right click and click new folder and now i have a whole new folder that i could name emails I could name it whatever i want now you'll see that my emails folder moved up here that's because I have an automatic thing set to organize my folders. Yours may or may not move. Uh, then what you're going to do is come over to the street parking email. If you double click on it, it's going to open up and that is not what we want. So if you did that, I want you to go ahead and click that little X on the top left and close it out. Now, instead of double clicking, I want you to click on that left mouse button, hold it down so you're clicking and dragging, bring it all the way up to whatever folder you want to. And then if you notice, if I bring it over to emails, you'll see how that emails folder, if it gets a little square highlight around it, just like that. If I leave it there too long, it actually opens up the folder, which is totally fine. Uh, but you just want it to have that little square highlight around it. Let go, you'll see now my thing is no longer there. And if I click on this emails folder, it's right there. So that is how you can or organize your emails, get them onto your computer if you want to. I hope that this helps. If anyone has questions, please feel free to reach out. This is Tech for Non-Techies. I try to make things easy for y'all to understand. Um, I do have a basic beginner Mac course that I teach through Colorado Free University. If anyone is interested in that, please let me know. Um, I also do do one-on-one -on -one consults. If you're stuck on something and you just want some help, we can do that via Zoom and share your screen and it goes really well. Uh, but I hope everyone has a lovely day and chat soon.